So another part of Shizuoka is Tamaya, and they have an open day. So this is Tamaya HQ in Shizuoka, and you see the foyer is full of vehicles that obviously became models. So just have a little look around now. We've got the edu educational kits for children here. I'm going to see all the classic models from the catalog and other models. This is the biggest stock car race in the world because real size. Take two. <laughs> this one big diorama, a lot to my kids. A 135th scale Gigant glider. Uh, sorry, powered uh, powered Gigant. It's one of the uh, original injection plastic molding machines. So this is the model museum part really starts off with the very early kits They've got every single model they've ever produced and every single box as well. And some of the dioramas that have been featured within the catalog. Don't forget to my is a radio control company uh, producer as well, so all the radio control models are here. One twenty four scale cars, one forty eight scale aircraft, the bikes in various scales, the thirty two scale aircraft. One four four scale aircraft selection of Lancasters. A one fiftieth scale ship. This is not a kit, obviously. Okay. 
Okay, so this is Shepherd Payne's shrine. I could say that, you know, Shepherd Payne passed away a few years ago, but, you know, he leaves a lot behind for us modelers. Really a founding father of diorama works, produced many dioramas for the Tamaya catalog over the years. It's really awesome to see that they are preserved for everyone here. For me it's really special to see these models. I can remember them inside the catalogue myself. I'm wondering if there will be also a Verlinden section as well. Okay, this section is the shop. I think they have got discounts on this weekend. These are obviously pre-built kits. The Masterworks collection. The RC stuff over there. These are... Okay, let's get to the scale models. They've got everything here. If you want to pick up some kits, let's see if they've got the brand new stuff. Uh, you made them. The 16th scale one? Uh, 35th, yeah? Yeah, yeah so this, this part of the... Uh, is the factory stuff, it's the manufacturing side. We're looking at a lot of mouldings, moulds, etc. Somebody's sneakily... There's a kit behind this mould here. Yeah. Guys, I'm in the second hall now. This is mainly a lot of the club ex uh, ex exhibitions here. And I'll, I've shown you a few interviews, but really the scale of this show is absolutely enormous. Somebody said to me there's over 200 clubs here. Uh, I can only sort of compare it a little bit like Telford, but this is much bigger. There's just so much here to cover. So I'm just going to sort of nip around and sort of give you a taste of it. But really, there's just, I could probably spend hours and hours videoing it. So let's just go and have a quick look around. 
One great thing about modeling is that you always see friends and our friends from Korea, Model Triad are here again. Great to see you again. Super. So so we got again, let's have a look the let's have a look one more time at Kim's WRC cars. He's got the uh, the polo there, even signed by the driver. We all know about the um, Escort WRC. He's got the Subaru this time and the Fair Lady from the Safari Rally. Let's have a look at some of the other exhibits from Model Triad. They haven't got the no airbrush sign here, but they have got a really beautiful selection of models. One of their showcases is this big 132 scale B17 with a full detailed interior on show. And this diorama here looks like Iraq or maybe Syria, but looks really great. Thanks again, Modeling Triad. Enjoy. <laughs> Sonic GTR legendary Ничего, аригатор. 